Okay. So, Raccoon. Game came out about a year ago. I literally just spent the last hour trying to get OBS to capture this window. And I hope it's capturing properly. Otherwise, I'll be really mad. That being said, the title music is very beautiful. So I wasn't super mad. Like the, I like this part. Oh yeah, that's nice. So let's, uh, yeah. It's supposed to be a good game. I don't know. Arrow keys, not the numpad. Space enters, interact, escape, yada yada. Cues, talk to mom. I have a dedicated mu button just to talk to my mom. Oh, this is sad already. Yes, it's an RPG Maker game, but it's supposed to be a good story. Who's there? That's not how the joke goes, you're supposed to say something next. Yami, ooh, that's Japanese for dark. Hey. How did you get in here? Doors unlocked, man. Oh. Who are you? I'm Yami. I live across the hall. Did you just move in or something? No, I think I got here around the same time as you. But they never let me out of my room. Oh, I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I sneak out at nights when the nurses aren't watching. Heh. <laughs> promise you won't tell anyone I'm here, okay? I promise. So how long are you in here for? I don't know. Mom says it could be a while. The same here. It gets really boring sometimes. I know what you mean. Zoan's coming. Sorry, man. I gotta go. Through the door that the person's coming out, f coming in from. Hey, wait. Yeah. Maybe I could visit you sometime. It's not as boring when there's two. You won't be able to get into my room. I'm not even supposed to leave. Remember? Oh, yeah. But don't worry. I'll come visit you again. Real soon, Locke. I promise. Yami? Where'd you go? Arrow keys to move. Despite me being connected to an IV. Who puts me in bed with my backpack on? Like, he has his backpack on. What the hell, man? Patient number 237. Pemetrex to sodium, 800 milligrams. Once, 1121-160231. Carboplatin, 300, 360 milligrams. Once, 1121-160316. Interesting. Carboplatin, 376 milligrams. Once, 1212, 1604. Huh, so he got given a drug. And then another drug. Less than a minute, minute later on the same day. And then he received that same drug. Almost a full month later. It would be in the cabinet. Yes. The cabinet is empty. Cool. And after the playing Lucy, I'm super hesitant. Oh, that's not good. I'm super hesitant to check things because now I think I'm going to get killed on every single thing I open. Treatment guide. Cool. An origami hat. Thank you. The door is locked. 
There's a sign on the door. Read it? Sure. Storage area 5B. Patients not allowed beyond this point. I just checked the phone. Hello? Hello dear, it's mom. Mom! Just want to let you know that my train was delayed, so I'm going to be a bit late. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry, dear. I'm going as fast as I can. It's okay, Mom. I understand. But I'm off work this week, and I dropped off your little brother at Grandma's. So we'll be able to spend lots of time together. We can play games. I'll read to you. It'll be like our own little party. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you too. Suddenly lights came on. Well, well. So you're wide awake and walking around. No one told me I couldn't walk around. Ha <laughs> you little shit. Okay, wise guy, I've got a couple things to tell you. First of all, some good news. Your tests have come back, and turns out things are looking pretty good. In fact, I think it might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. You mean... I get to leave my room? Indeed. Yes! Not so fast. There's something else I need to talk to you about. This morning, the cafeteria reported that a lot of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. Since the wing was all locked up last night, we believe the thief might still be in the building somewhere. So can you take a moment to just check and see if any of your belongings were stolen? Okay. Let's see. Origami hat? Check. Backpack? Still on. Blank space? Oh no. It's gone! Doctor, they took it. They took Raccoon. And there's a game title. What did they take? Raccoon is my favorite book in the whole world. My mom reads it to me every night. It's very special. Are you completely sure you didn't just misplace it? Or, you know, maybe your mom took it home with her? I'm sure. I have very good memory. Can't you tell from my hat and the fact that I'm in a hospital bed from an unknown illness? After mom finishes reading, she always puts it back in the same place. It's our tradition. Okay, calm down. What did your book look like? Um, it has a brown cover. It looks very old. And there's a class made of silver with a hole for a key. And it has Raccoon right on the cover, which is normally how you determine what a book is. Silver class, eh? That explains why they take a children's storybook. Well, I'm really sorry about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been to you. It's a good thing we don't have cameras in any of the hallways, so we couldn't see the person steal it. I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track down the thief. My mom's going to be so sad. You know what? What? Since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you go talk to some of the other folks around the floor? Who knows? Maybe someone will be able to help you get your book back. Take care now. I'll be back to check on you in a, in a bit. You just told me to go walk around. How are you going to check up on me? Also, if there's a th thief in here, should you really be letting an unaccompanying, an unaccompany, yeah. Should you really be letting a child go out by himself? A sick child? Into an area where you don't know where a thief is hiding? A device used to measure height. Open locker? Yeah. A lab coat and a pair of scrubs are hanging inside. It looks like there's something beneath the lab coat. Look underneath. Oh, I love looking underneath lab coats. Well, 50% of the time. You found 5G. You, you just robbed this guy! 
We found a pair of scrubs hanging. Or oh. has money even used on anything? How's your detective work coming along? Find any good leads? Oh, I found five bucks inside someone's locker. I heard you had a pretty tough day today. You hang in there, alright? You're doing great. What, did it already make its rounds that I lost my damn book? Hey, old man. You using us? Broken music box. If you touch that music box, I'll break your hands! You'll twerp! Treatment guide. Files of blood. Patient number 196-1. Blood 1. Oh, patient number 196. Line. Blood samples. There's no point talking to Tony before he's had his coffee. He'll just growl at you like a big angry bear. I heard that, you little brat! See what I mean? What the heck are you doing in my room, kid? Get out! If Vegas, when one fizzer is known, shows up. When I need peace and quiet, every idiot in the world has to come to my room. What the fuck did my heater just kick on again? I just turned it off. Now where's that nurse with my coffee? Coffee! The door's locked. Oh shit. Alright, that's how you get out of rooms. Okay, so I need some coffee. Look at the sign. Keep out. Only author. Keep out. Only authorized personnel allowed beyond this point. Doorknob. There is an electronic device with a passcode entry labeled Closet 5C. However, it doesn't appear to be turned on. Oh, this person's cute. Hey there. Hey, Cora. What's up? Hey, I don't think we've formally met. I'm Cora. It's probably pretty easy to remember me because I'm the only girl in my grade with a pink mohawk. Wow, cool. And don't worry, my mom knows. She's the one who let me do it. Oh my god. Anyways, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, Cora. Oh, hey, some friends and I are working together to do something special for the people on our floor here in the hospital. Wow, that's a really long sentence, and it's hard to do that in this voice. Like what? I'll more details later. But if you find anything cool you would want to donate, come talk to me. Okay. I know a lot of folks feel powerless when they have to stay here. But here's the way I see it. No one knows how much time they have in this world. Wow, that's incredibly... That's incredibly deep for a kid who looks like you're nine. Point is, I'm going to do everything I can to make good use of my time. Time's precious, you know. If I could help just one person here to feel happier, then it'd be all worth it. Hey there. Yeah, you hear about the thief? Dude, yeah. Chef Panky came out here earlier and he was not happy. I guess the thief took a lot of food from the cafeteria kitchen. How the heck do they get into the kitchen? You can't even get that from the cafeteria. Believe me, I've tried. Wait, what's that? How? Yet what? You can't get to the kitchen from the cafeteria. That's a really weird structure. Hey there, tell me about some folks here. What do you want to know about? Uh, talk to Tony. Just between you and me, I think Tony's hiding something. He acts so grumpy all the time, but he's got this pretty little music box in his room that he guards with his life. What's left of it, at least. Why would, he, why would a grumpy old dude like that have a sweet little music box? What do you want to know about? Sue. I don't know who Sue is, because I don't didn't meet that person yet. Sue is a sweetheart, but she's obsessed. Obsessed? Yeah, I guess she had to move to the hospital before saying goodbye to her friend. That's pretty much all she talks about now. What do you want to know about? Jackie. Jackie's that guy over the blood draw station. He's cool. 
A little weird, but cool. If you ever need to know about anything technical, he's the guy to ask. And that's it. Never mind. A pink cat? Cool. Save, save. And we'll stop here and then continue next episode doing something, I'm sure. Whatever. Bye-bye.